Hey there, Kaiser community, and welcome to Three Question Thursday. We have a unique addition here to the Kaiser team, Brian Uretsky. Hi, my name is Brian Uretsky, and I, I joined Kaiser as a commercial market spe specialist. Uh, I've been in finance and commercial real estate and the investment side of the business for roughly 20 years, and I'm here to provide a new perspective for members at Kaiser. We are super happy to have him on the team. So jumping right into our three questions, we're going to focus a little bit on capital today. Great. So, capital is a growing concern for businesses all over the world, and for good reason. So, what are the options for people who want to secure funding for their commercial real estate projects? I think that's a great question. I think there, there are tons of options uh, when it comes to raising capital. First, I, I like to put all those options into three major buckets. Um, first, uh, you can borrow money. Second, you can find an equity partner. And third, you can sell assets. Okay. <laughs> um, in, in terms of all of those options, I think that um, they all come with positives and negatives, and it depends on the entity and it depends on cost-benefit analysis to help determine which route you should go. When looking at those positives and negatives, uh, when having an equity partner as an example, I think the positive is that you share or you, you limit some of your downside risk but you also limit some of your upside potential as well as some of your control. So in terms of getting an equity partner, there are pros and cons. So you really have to weigh all of those options before you go down the road of raising capital. Okay. And so the market is always fluctuating. So how attractive is the market right now? I think that's a, another great question. I think that when it comes to your per perception of the capital markets, it depends on who you are. Uh, as a lender or an investor at the moment, I think you look at the capital markets and it looks unattractive. Um, you've got stocks at all-time highs, you've got rates near historic lows. So when you're looking at it, things from an ROI perspective, it's a lot weaker than what you're used to seeing. However, if you're a borrower or someone who's looking to raise capital, I think you look at the capital markets and you think they look, they look great, you know, with rates at or near all-time lows. Your cost for financing is much lower than what you're used to. Additionally, there's a ton of money out there looking to be invested in commercial real estate. If you look at some of the private fund data, there's over 300 billion in, in capital out there looking to be invested in commercial real estate. So if you're a borrower or someone who's trying to raise capital, you have a wealth of options out there and I think you think the capital markets look tremendously attractive at the moment. Okay, and so when it comes to borrowing or lending money, how can you protect yourself? That's another great question. I think that operating within the capital market space always demands a certain amount of due diligence. Um, when you're a borrower or someone who's looking to raise capital, I think you have to really understand um, the reason why you're raising that capital, the project behind it, as well as how much money you need, how much you're willing to pay for that money, as well as how long you need that money for. I think if you, if you get a good grasp of all of those issues and all those factors, I think you're on your way to making a good decision within capital market space. Coming from the other side, if you look at it from the lender's perspective or um, the investor's perspective, I think that the amount of due diligence may be even more extreme. Um, just you know, when thinking about things from a lender's perspective, I like to go back to grade school a little bit, think about who, what, when, where, why, and how. Um, you know, who, who am I lending to and how risky is that entity? What, you know, what is the environment like and what are the odds that that entity is going to be able to pay me back? Uh, when, you know, when will I see that money? You know, where, where, where is my money going? Why, why are they coming to me? Why, why do they need the money? And then how? how, how are they going to achieve the returns that they're promising? I think if you ask all those questions and you're thoughtful with the answers and you get to a place where you're comfortable with those answers, I think you're on your way to making a really smart decision within the capital market space. That's some really good advice. Thank you again for joining us this week on Three Question Thursday. See you next week. Bye.